Uh, I'd just like to really briefly talk about uh, what I believe Fanan represents and what it means to me <clears throat> personally uh, to be a part of an organization like this. Uh, so firstly, you know, as we all know, Fanan is doing and will continue to do incredible things uh, for the Eritrean community. And doing so, uh, it provides me and many other young people like me and all of us here uh, with the opportunity to give back to our community uh, in a very powerful and, and impactful way. Um, it's also exciting to be part of a movement which is uh, essentially the first of its kind. So I guess in that sense, we all have the right to call ourselves pioneers um, because we're doing something that hasn't really been done before well, within the Eritrean community. And uh, it also feels great uh, to be a part of something that will not only have a, a, a short-term impact, but will most definitely also have a, a, a long-term lasting impact. Uh, and it will probably most likely outlive, you know, a lot of us here. It, well, all of us, in fact. Um, and the reason why I say this um, is because I believe that when we strengthen Eritrean families, um, when we support our young people, and when we help our compatriots find their feet, um, we're essentially laying down a very solid foundation uh, on which uh, future generations can build upon. Uh, and the great thing is, not only will it have a, a lasting impact, not only will it have a powerful impact, powerful impact, but you know, I also believe that it will have a global impact. Uh, you know, as we all know, there are Eritrean people living all over the world. Uh, in fact, uh, a good friend of mine, um, an Eritrean guy. Uh, lives in this unknown place, you know, on the, on the coast of Norway, this tiny place. It has a small population of, you know, 40,000 people. And um, according to him, the only thing that happens there is, is fishing and sailing. Um, so like, as you can imagine, the, you know, the black population there is virtually zero. Nevertheless, there's, you know, still a small uh, Eritrean community residing there. Um, so the point I'm trying to make is that there are Eritrean people living all over the world who need what Fanan is offering. And, uh, and for that reason, Fanan, I believe, will always be a global thing. Uh, it's, it's wonderful also that we're the ones actively bringing change and, and not the ones just sitting around idly, you know, waiting for change to come. But most importantly, uh, through Fanan, we are a beacon of hope to the hopeless um, and no doubt an answer to many people's prayers. Uh, and we're essentially the ones throwing out the life jacket and we're a light to many people who uh, have found themselves in, in very dark situations. Um, you know, uh, the late uh, president JFK said, uh, if not us, then who? And if not now, then when? And I couldn't agree more with this because if we don't act now, who's to say that someone else will, will act for us later on down the road? Uh, we can't guarantee this, uh, and, and this is why it's imperative uh, that we take this responsibility upon ourselves as our own, uh, and, and we choose to act you know, now rather than when it's too late. Um, the sad truth is uh, that currently our people are actually now you know, more divided than ever before. You know, we have the division of the protesters and, and the Eritrean government, uh, the division of, you know, the people protesting against the protesters for protesting against the government. And uh, we have the division of like the, the newer diaspora and the older diaspora and the division of the first and second generation immigrants and their parents. So, um, you know, this is a terrible thing uh, because if we remain divided, uh, we can never progress ourselves as a people and we can never, you know, become a, a strong people. Um, so, you know, unity is essential. Uh, and uh, Fanan doesn't have any political agenda and it doesn't side with one of these groups over another. But the way I see it is it hovers above, you know, these different groups that have formed and it works to seal and, and, and mend these divisions that have formed between them uh, by building up the community and strengthening our people through the various projects that we, we're undertaking now and uh, the future projects that we will undertake. Um, you know, in fact, a lot of the issues we face now 
as a people is is as a result of you know the divisions that are present amongst us uh, and, and this is why I believe personally this is in my opinion uh, I believe that Fernand's greatest commission and uh, Fernand's greatest cause is to restore unity you know to our people um, and you know the fact that we're all here today uh, we're all we all have different beliefs we all come from different backgrounds we all come from different walks of life uh, and the fact that we're all here today gathered for this one cause is uh, is testament in itself uh, to the fact that Fernand is is already working now so yeah thank you <laughs>